Hi everyone and good morning. So today I wanted to show you my completed um, craft room. Well I say completed, um, everything is in its place. There are a few, there are still some drawers that need sorting out but that's going to be done over time. But I have actually put everything, all the furniture in its place and um, I'm about 70% really done I suppose so I thought it was time to kind of show you what's in my craft room and how I'm organizing it and how I've organized it I also you can probably notice I have new carpet down now which is just fantastic that horrible manky carpet has now gone and I have changed the room very slightly to the last video that I did um, now this is going to be probably done in a couple of videos because as you can see if I step back um, There is an awful lot to show you um, of my organization that is one side and this is the other side As you can see there and then obviously we have the um, Kallax in the middle as well. So if I step back and we'll go back this way you can see we also have all of those shelves and all of that there as well as everything under there. So I thought what I would do today is start on this side of the room. Let me just uh, go over here and start on this side and go through, um, you know, what I've got in here and how I organise it. So I managed to get um, most of my furniture second hand um and a lot of it is ikea furniture which i really wanted for this room um and you know i've managed to make it work really well with the calax units etc so i'm going to start over here now up here as you can see i have started to label but some things are not labeled there are still empty boxes that i can still put stuff in and actually if you look behind here I have a little step ladder now, which um, <laughs> is very, very useful. So let me just open this um, so I can oh, show you up here. So without me falling over anything. So let me go up here. So, OK, I have these two boxes here. They are empty. I know that these um, are free to put things in when we get around. There. This is full of cord and trim. And it's just basically um, what it says, if I can pull it down there. It is just cord and trim. And that is just a box that I keep up there. Then in here, I know that I have um, vintage uh, book pages, but plain ones that are nice and um, coloured, etc. So this hasn't been labelled I just know that this has got coffee dyed paper in here. So um, this is just an old unit which will probably go. But for now, I'm keeping it as it is. These boxes here, um, I haven't labelled that one because I haven't got a clue what's in it. I think that's empty. And these two have got things from my old card making days. And then I have some fabric up there. These are my Alex drawers. And let's go through what's in here. So this is my top Alex drawer. Look at that. I have a new toy, which I'm going to be showing you in um, the next couple of weeks. Um, is a thermal printer, which I'm using for my scrapbooking, journaling, planners, etc. So all of these rolls here are for, for my new gadget, which I'll show you another time. All of these are dies which I managed to pick up really, really cheap. Um, and they're just, I thought that maybe I could um, put them into little spray bottles and make some lovely paper for, me, for my journals. Um, as you can see, there are about a hundred different colours in here which I've yet to use. So now I have got them in a place where I know where they are. I can look at this bubblegum colour bubblegum um don't know what they'll come out like and if they don't work then i'll get rid of them but i've got them in there for now so these are my thermal rolls and some dies that i can have some fun with at a later date this drawer here um, is actually all of my um beads and jewelry bits and pieces so um 
that's just some old bits i don't really do an awful lot of jewelry making but i do use them for dangles so and i think that box there is got a few bits in but um this is probably yet to be sorted out properly so i've just put all my jewelry bits in there for now in here i have punches punches galore so these are more of my smaller punches i couldn't put my big punches in here because it would wreck the drawer so these are just um border punches and little punches this one here has just got envelopes in for now um really needs to be sorted out so that just has envelopes this drawer here has um oddments oddments of things so it's got all of my um stickles and um these are just pearl um embellishments these are all of my um bowl pins and there's just flowers here so these this drawer does need to be sorted out but at least i have that a bit tidier and the bottom drawer um has um, uh, ephemera let me just move this out of the way ephemera in there and i have all these little buckets um to keep all my little bits of ephemera um so we've got like you know little um little bits and pieces and then i've bought this little tray and it's got all my letters in and it's got some stickers and butterflies and these are just a little tiny snippet bits that i use for um snippet embellishments etc so these are just lots and lots of um ephemera pieces um lots and lots and lots and lots and oh mr nosy's here so this is my um ephemera drawer and then if we go to my mom um unit around this corner here as well i have my label maker look and i also have glue sticks in here so they're all in one place and my lovely i need to get a little plant for my little cat um pot thingy right so my mom drawers now this one has lots of buckets in and this has all my like tools so it's got my um my stamping tool and it ha i have a little mini uh, in, uh mini scoreboard and it has my um stamp and scrubs Stamp and scrubs, is that what they're called? Stamp and so I don't know. And then I have some stickers in here. These are all tins of stickers. These are odd um, bits and pieces. They really need to be sorted out. They're just um, bits that I've made and um, pieces of things to things. Um, bits and pieces to go in journals that are already made, but I need to sort through that. Then I have all my stamp blocks, my... Um, uh, what do you call it? I forgot what that's called now. My stamper my jig or I don't know. And so these are all stamping blocks and stamping mist, you know, to clean your stamp blocks. So um, this drawer is a bit higgledy piggledy. There are some more little trays here, so I need to um, really go through this drawer and organise it. These are all my um, book page pockets that I've either finished or started and envelopes and little ones that I've got to sew so that's just all book page things I've got my Tim Holtz um, paper dolls that's butterflies there's some more words in there which could probably go in my one up here and then we could lose that let me just move them and then this next drawer down is a lot more organized look at that these are all my glitters um what's this one? Oh, more glitter these two pots at the back are empty and then these are all my blingy um things all my blingy sheets and pearls and stick-ons then here um these are card blanks um and mats there i've got some stickers boxes of stickers in there which you need to do a video on from aliexpress that's my happy planner punch in here i've just got some paints and this is just a oddment sort of bucket there and then this drawer here um is all my junk journal um things so more bits and pieces that um i've made um in here which again needs to be sorted out then here 
is my sort of vintage thing. So I've got some vintage photos, vintage um, letters, envelopes, and some postcards, I believe, in there. So this is kind of my one of my junk journal drawers. In here um, are some more paper book pages that I need to be sorted out and some um, card for tags. And this is my die cut bucket which has got lots and lots of die cuts in that I need to start using. Then in the bottom one um, we have uh, washi tape. These are my odd washi tapes that I couldn't fit into my um, organisers. Then here that's Oh, these are my vintage um, rubber stamps. So this is a big box of vintage rubber stamps, which I need to probably put in somewhere else. Uh, some more envelopes. These are just old stamps. And I think those two boxes are still empty. So they're my drawers. And then if we move over to the side, we're going to have a lot of fun over here. We have, I have been labelling like crazy, as you can see. Um, so up there I have some books that I need to sort through. That has uh, the Paris thingy has um, old photographs in. This has got ephemera in, uh, playing cards, tags, and this one has ephemera. These two are empty here. And then this one has like Christmas puffies and Christmas embellishments in there and all of these as you can see these organizer boxes i will go through another day with you but we have washi tape washi tape washi tape jewelry uh findings brads ephemera labels buttons charms punched embellishments stickers wooden embellishments and paper clips and these are lovely organizer boxes which i will show you another day but they are awesome but they're very high up there so i do have to use my step ladder now we've got these calyx um cubes here so um this one here has uh oh this one has oddments and bits and pieces in so that one hasn't really been sorted out properly um that one's empty so we've got that one free this one i did buy one of these inserts for 12 by 12 paper pads which i will tell you now the insert cost more than the unit yes it did and what is it worth it probably not it does look nice but no i think it's um, oh gosh i just knocked my trimmer over this one i don't have an insert and it doesn't look messy does it it still looks tidy um and this one does look tidy but you can't get as much in and it cost 25 pounds so oh, oops you know, I think that was a no-no, really. Um, this is my um, my scoreboard, my big scoreboard's there. Then in here, I have some more 12 by 12 paper pads and some oddments and a basket to put things in, in there. Then this one we have now here, in here, um, I use, keep all my card in pouches like this and then what I do is I cut out a little die cut um a punch so that you can see so this is all my metallic card strap scraps and then we've got pink and then we've got um this is just white cardstock so I basically keep all of my oddments of um, card and coloured paper and DSP in these pouches and they all belong in here so if I need um, pink cardstock for something I know I can find them in one of oh, I can't get them all in now because I'm doing this with one handed um, so that is all cardstock and DSP Ooh, and that's very hard to push in right okay and then this bottom one um, I just have books in here. This one is full of books and um, just organisers and things. And then in this bottom one here, um, these are all book pages, believe it or not, um, which actually do need sorting out. But these are all book pages that I use um, when I make my junk journals. So there's a whole mixture in there because I keep some up here 
all ready to go. Oh gosh, they are quite heavy to push in, as you can see. So that's that old Kallax unit. Oops. Right. So the next, I'm sorry if I'm making you sick with my moving. <laughs> right, this up here, we have a couple of baskets which just had odd things in at the moment, which haven't been sorted out. The pink thing has jewellery in. Um, bits and pieces and the green thing in the middle is empty and as you can see I managed to get a new little cupboard here which makes things a bit tidier and my lovely wall art uh, canvas that the lovely Joanne made me so I found a lovely home for that and in here as you can see I am so organized look um we have this is how I've got it organized in here so this one has um, just some things I'm working on at the moment. These are all of my stencils. Oops, I'm not even showing you. These are all of my stencils um, in, in that corner there. This box is actually empty. I've got a stamp album there. And these have my um, vintage tea cards and playing cards, all of these are tea cards and playing cards in here i haven't labeled them because you can see so we've got flowers um i think these are just uh like appliques and things then i've got all my pearly bits and pieces my pearl blingy lace then i have fabric flowers and flowers and bows i believe in that one then we have all my gorgeous um eyelash trim and then in this one this has oddments of glitter and things in there this is my wide um lace uh basket and then underneath there are papers that i need to sort out this one has um oddments in again that i need to sort out so these that need sorting and this one has all my heavy punches because i haven't actually found a proper way of storing these yet i'm working on that one um because i've got punches everywhere so that is that cupboard there and then if we go to these drawers um these are all my flowers so they're in trays and there's a couple of trays in um each layer so these are just that's my fabric lacy flowers and then I've got some paper flowers, um, some foam flowers, and some more pretty flowers. So these are all flowers in that drawer there. This drawer has um, uh, fabric pieces that have got words on, some Tim Holtz things. These are hand-drawn uh, images on these tongue depressor sticks that you get from the doctors but i just thought these were gorgeous to put into journals so there's a whole collection of those and then that one's just got index cards in this drawer here has uh, my stamping up stamps some lacy fabric and these are all my uh stamping up um stamping mist they, that actually this needs to go in the other drawer with all my stamping stuff i think then we've got all my doilies there and then i have a little set of uh drawers there which have little oddments and eyelets and bits and pieces in there and then all my doilies and this drawer here um this is all things for giveaways and these are giveaways. So if you can see this gorgeous book, um, somebody is going to be getting one of them this week. Look how adorable he is. And then I've just got... Um, oh, these are old cards that I was going to use, um, that I've picked up to use in projects. They're all cards, like um, greeting cards. And then here... Um, there's just some more bits to sort out that in that one. I've got some um, oddments in there. This drawer here has all um, little notebooks, writing paper, bits and pieces to use in journals. And then I have some um, more vintage rubber stamps that need to be sorted out and go in that other 
container over actually see while i'm doing this i'm finding more things that i could do so this needs to be moved over to my vintage box and then this will be free for something else um and then in the bottom here look at this this is just my tapes this is all double-sided tape um when i do my parcels and then more double-sided tape and foam um you know the the foam uh what do you call it Ugh, when you make cards and you raise them up the foamy sort of sticky foam and then here um this is medical tape which i tried printing on it was all right not printing on uh, stamping on one was all right and one wasn't so that's my thing there in this corner here are all my glues and some glittery bits and pieces that do need to be sorted out but for now it is okay so that's all my glues and this just has odd little bottles of things but until i get i'm hoping to get some shelves on this wall here so once i get those shelves up here i can put these little bottles and these sequins and things um out on that um shelf then so then that will be sorted out and then i've just got a bag of envelopes and things in there right and then here um i have two little sets of drawers which this one has some oddments in um this one has all my brooches in for using on journals etc um this one has laces I left trim these to go in the other thing and the bottom one has lace and this one has just some like uh taffeta sort of um cord and the bottom one has oh just personal things in that one right now i have my um trolley dolly i call her a trolley dolly and this one here has little fabric pieces in the top this is just all full of fabric um little squares um so that's all fabric this one is all trim fancy trims etc then i have a vintage laces in this one and this one here has all white and creams and um just white laces lots of white lace and this one here is just a sticker and embellishment drawer it's got stickers and oddments and bits and pieces miscellaneous bits and pieces this one here has more flowery <coughs> things so this has just got lots of flower and trim and um oddments in um this one here has bags and um the packets and things like that you know like uh, oh they don't shouldn't be in they need to come out uh yeah this has just got like paper bags and glassine bags and plastic bags in there when i do happy mail um right that needs to come out they need to come out because they're tags see look you find this is a drawer that obviously needs sorting out um this has got lots of stickers and oddments so this can go in there Oh, wiggly eyes. Okay. That's rubbish. They can go in the drawer above. And as you can see, this drawer probably needs sorting out, actually, because it's got all odd bits in. So, actually, I'll put this all back. And that drawer has to be sorted out. Now, my desk drawers. Um, so, this one here, it does need sorting. Um, but this has just got my tools that I use all the time so it has some glue my distress ink my cord when i'm doing my signatures a glue stick it has a big bottle of glue and rulers in the back here and then my um <clears throat> excuse me cropper dial and my teeny tiny stapler tim holtz um i need to tidy this up a bit but this is all my on hand kind of tools and this one the same has some laces in and my just bits that i use um all the time <coughs> excuse me and then the bottom one has stamp blocks um my blender brushes 
my glue book which I use all the time and then a bow maker and it's just an oddment for really um, and then oh, over in this corner you probably won't be able to see in these drawers this one has projects I'm working on at the moment this one has some empty baskets to put stuff in but it's really stuff that I use all the time and in here are tools so it's got my heat gun um, my glue gun it's got my um ooh, mats you know for um so things that stick to it these get in the way my lines but i've got nowhere else to put them um so that's uh basically we have done one side um i will go through those containers with you another day but i think i'll leave it at this for first the first part of my video and then we can go through the other side and this one and all my other things in the next video so i hope you've enjoyed my first craft room tour and i hope it's given you some ideas and inspiration on how to store things and show you what i have in my craft room so i hope you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i shall see you all very very soon take care bye bye